first of all, I'm a fan of music. So you never know what concert you, or show you might see me in. And a lot of these different shows, people are still, their artists are still selling CDs. So I can't say that the CD is dead. Mm -hmm. But for the newer, younger crowd, they don't like the CD. They like to, the, you know, they want to scan it with their phone because it's right cool. there. You know what I mean? They like the coolness of the technology. No, they you like the, the readiness. And to be honest, like, I'm a, I'm a fan of tech guy. I like, I like yeah. it right then and there, man. It's like exactly everybody. Everybody yeah. wants it instantaneous right now. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, I mean, but see, but I mean that. But that's I'm glad I got you and we talking about it. But what's wrong with that? There's though? nothing wrong. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Oh, because okay. there, okay. there's because there's different people that like different things. That's why we're who we are. You feel me? Yeah, because I I see people though that's just totally against CDs and stuff too, and yeah. that's where it's like, well, you, you know, know, a lot of that a lot of that boils down to like I said, the technology now. Yeah. You get it. You buy a car. There's no CD player. Everything's a stream. That's a fact. You know what I mean? They don't really sell you. They're not. They're not uh, pushing the CD player towards you anymore. They're not pushing the DVD player towards you anymore. Even though those items still exist, you go to Rasputin right now and probably get a hundred CDs for a dollar. You know what I mean? Right. But that's just not what they're producing for you right now. Right now, they want you on this digital age where you're spending thirteen hundred dollars every year on your iPhone and your samsung plus and you know all this different stuff they just in your pockets all the time so you know right. a lot of people like to be in the old school version of it and just like that's why the records are coming back even though the quality isn't as good the records are still there though you know what i mean i still got my my parents old school 45 collection you know what i mean i was just wiping down some the other day listening to some stress it was a lot of scratching but you know they were still playing v-boy v-boy yeah so my partner shout out to my partner will deloach you know what I mean? He was going to a uh, to the little training spot over here, CET, mm -hmm. and he had hooked up uh, with with uh, Zach One, which is V Boy's partner. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? He introduced me to Zach One and uh, me, Zach, and uh, my boy Hef, our, the guest list. We um, did a couple songs and shit, and then he wound up. We all went to Tahoe one day because we had a show down there. And then he wound up bringing his boy V-Boy and uh, shit. We wound up doing a, doing a couple of tracks at the house we were staying at and fucking the rest is history and shit, you know? Okay. It's all, so all just mutual kinda... associations and shit, you know? Yeah, y'all just kind of met up both doing the same thing. 